Why don't, Why don't you go, go back to the welterweight division where Regulio from the end takes on Jos from Belgium. Two glory fights on this record, two victories, one by way of a knockout. The soldier, Jos from Belgium! Well, well, the man fighting, fighting out of the white, white corner, corner. stands in at 180 centimeters tall, 5 feet and 10 inches, 44 fights on this record, 35 victories, 8 defeats and 1 draw, 11 of his winning fights by way of a knockout, 1 glory fight, 1 win, his win by way of a knockout. Regilio Valdene! Well, this glory fight is scheduled three rounds of three minutes. Referee is Mr. Joop Ubida. Okay, jongens, luister, jullie kunnen de regels. Dus shake hands and stop back. Shake hands, hop, stop back. A little help from our referee to touch gloves. This is it. Very intense and key matchup in the welterweight division. Van Belzen, one of those young guns, 24 years old, and Van Dant looking for his second win here in the rival series. Van Dant is just a nice, calm fighter. You're gonna see him stay relaxed, but just watch when he starts opening up with his combinations, where Van Belzen, watch, power. Everything he throws is gonna try to knock you out. Keep an eye on those exchanges, what I call head-to-head, -head, these close range ones. And fills in quick hands and feet, throws a lot of strikes. Yep, good countering here, too. Fills in power kicks, though. Built really strong. Started as a, a lightweight, was Van Belzen. Right. Packed on some size, and now we see him as a big welterweight. Nice level change. Furious pace here to kick off this opening round. Block from Van Dant. Yeah, Ooh, nice exchanges. We saw Helio Van Dant end his last fight here in the rival series with a beautiful liver shot. Yeah. Textbook. So clean and studying a lot of his fights. He does it a lot in all of his fights. He's a great level changer. So I think as the fight goes on, he already ripped one nicely there. But as the right. fight goes on, they're going to add up. But right now, Van Belzen's doing the work. He's hitting the combinations. Yes. I don't know if uh, Van Denen's just gathering information, but good first round for Van Belzen. Van Denen dumped after Van Belzen caught the kick. It's crazy to look at. There's only a three-year age difference in this fight. Van Dien, though, has about 40 more fights than uh, Van Belzen, who takes a tumble as we are under a minute to go. Loving the combination work. Even Van Belzen, but Van Dien just comes back with his own, which is nice. Strikes thrown and landed. Both fighters about around the 45% mark here. You nice also hand. see the total strikes. And goes in a little bit more active with, and finding its target a little bit better. Bell's in trying to dig the body now. Time winding down in this welterweight matchup, opening rounds. Good high pace so far, for sure. Let's learn a little bit about these fighters. We'll start with uh, Rahelio Van Den Ent. 
You see his signature strike, that left shot to the body, hasn't really gotten it off yet, but he's definitely a talent that we need to keep an eye on for in the future. Jos Van Belzen, we've seen before, this making his fifth glory fight. The right cross, he's a power puncher coming forward. The way he puts his low kicks together is what makes it a fun fight. I think this fight is gonna be one in that mid-range that I keep talking about. So right now, Van Belzen seems to be the one in uh, the first round that I'm gonna give it to. I think that's a good call. Strikes per minute thrown and landed. Van Belsen landing 15 of 29 as we check out the highlights from that opening Second round. It's when they're in the pocket and counter back is what I'm loving. That's the counter back game. Moving on to round number two. Van Dient is all, <laughs> he's waiting. He's chomping at the bit. Let's go. You saw it at the beginning. Fighters didn't want to touch gloves. Referee made him do it, and they pick up right where they left off in that opening frame. That's a way to touch gloves. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look at that power back and forth. I'm telling you, that Belgian's looking pretty sharp today with his combinations. Yeah, he really is. Now, Belzen's coming off of a loss to Jay Overmere, so I know a win here means a lot to him. We'll see Jay Overmere at the Rivals 3. Yes, we will. Can't wait for it. November 5th, Glory Rivals 3. Ooh, Jos Van Belzen with a calf kick. Popular in MMA these days. Nice to see it in kickboxing. It's, it's amazing how popular that has become. And, just what a weapon it's become as well. Furious pace here in the welterweight division. There's the low kicks right there. See the Van Belsen. He seems to be chopping after his punches really well. I think uh, Van Den Ent's just kind of waiting to counter too much. I feel he needs to be first because Van Belsen doesn't seem to be slowing down. Not at all. Oh, level changes from Van Denen now. Rahileo Van Denen looking very comfortable in this matchup. As bells and chops at the leg. Continually going back and forth. One, 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 one. Right. <laughs> Like how Abandon it just mixes kicks, knees, hands, just flows between all strikes and does it very fluidly. Caught a shot walking in as we hit the one minute mark, round number two. It's a great fight for Jos Van Belzen, to be honest. The way he's kind of angling, boxing, moving, he's moving his head well. To me, he's winning this fight. He's comfortable to the point where he's switching southpaw, throwing his sure. power combinations. Van Belsen landing 60% of his strikes thrown. And he's thrown 136 compared to Van Den Ent's 98. You see him fainting now before he enters, using his jab, relying a little bit more on footwork and head movement. See if cardio comes into play as we will move on to the third and final round. The welterweights putting on a show here tonight. Be some source fight. Yeah, it's close. I mean, I'm slightly leaning to Jos Van Belzen, but the way Van Den Ent's pressuring, countering back, can be anyone's fight. And once again, the intense stare down leads to a great exchange. Begin the opening round, and that was a very nice kick to the inner thigh from Van Den Ent. Very high pace. I'm surprised. Really? You know, even Van Bell's in the fact that he's still going with this amount of power, this volume and combination work. Now the pace has not slowed down since the opening bell. Is to continue to throw. And really representing good Dutch style kickboxing. Yes. The high guard, the good combinations, the punches to low kicks. 
good display of uh, the Dutch style. And you look at where the total strikes thrown and have been targeted. Both fighters really even as they distribute between the legs, the body, and the head. That's where they say fight IQ comes from, the, the ability to mix levels and to mix your strikes. If you're only boxing and not mixing your kicks and knees, all those types of things play for being a good kickboxer. And Belzen has landed 66 strikes out of 137 to the head. And you see the strikes landed. The breakdown. And Van Belzen with the four knees. And that's still going to pressure forward, though, trying to counter. But it's that combination work on the outside from Jos Van Belzen looking great tonight. Yeah, the 24-year-old came in with a 2-2 two and two record here in glory. Now he's able to attack and move. He hits, combination, circles out a little bit, attacks again. Moves his head well. Yeah, great level changes. Now he's southpaw, mixing in his jab to set his punch to kicks. Looking he just rolled under that hole. Yeah, he's he on. He's in the zone right now. Probably nothing better as a fighter, right? You just check out and just yeah, let your athletic ability take it. over. He's probably been doing this for so many years now since he was a kid that he's just in the zone now. This is where Van Den Ento, if he wants, he can try to pick something up. He's trying to put that left head kick a few times, but he's got to set him up with his hands. He's going to head, trying something. Oh, high kicks to the head with bad intentions from Van Den Solid defense from Yost. Vandenet came in with a, a lot of momentum, taking out Joe Johnson in his one Rivals fight. We saw it at Rivals 1, where he ended it with a beautiful liver shot, which he is known for, but just didn't have an answer tonight for the pace and, and just the athleticism from Van Belzen. Yeah, and you know, Van Belzen just did everything right. Started with pressure, then moved as the fight went on. Just adapted well. We will get the official decision coming up next as Glory Rivals number two rolls on after this. Jos Van Belzen in this one. It started off really close, but he really just took it to Rahelio Vandenet as this fight went on, Joseph. As soon as they touched gloves, right to the action, back and forth combinations. But it just seemed like Jos Van Belzen was just having a little bit more of the, the better of the exchanges. He mixed his boxing well with his low kicks. But as the fight went on, we saw Rahelio Vandenet continue to pressure, continue to push through. But you see Van Belzen still eating shots, coming forward, putting the combinations together. And Rahelio doesn't stop coming forward, which ended up being where Van Belzen had to make some adjustments. He started throwing his combinations in this third round, started moving a little bit more. And this is when he kind of found himself in the zone where he was hitting, moving, attacking, circling, just getting outside of punches. But ultimately, it was his combinations, punch to kick, never really letting Van Den Ent get momentum. He took control of the pace, the power, and ultimately probably got him the foot. Well, despite having 34 less fights than Rogelio Vandenet, look at how he dominated in this one. Yeah, he mixed up everything very well. Like I said, his punches and his kicks to kick combinations were one of his best things. And as each round, he maintained that pace, which was incredible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of three minutes, we counted the points, points and we have a winner. When the winner is the man in the black corner, Jos Hamelza. Congratulations, Jos, with that win. Uh, Rogelio never fails to entertain. It was a very frantic fight. Um, you took a lot of shots, you gave a lot of shots. How was it for you? Uh, 
Ja, het was een hard fight, maar ik moet zeggen dat eigenlijk. Sorry? Dat je gewoon overtuigd bent dat je gewoon. Hij zei dat het was een hard fight, maar hij wist dat het was zijn win tonight. So. Okay, thank you, Brian. Um, Rogelio threw a lot of left body kicks. Like, you absorbed the shots. Like, Rogelio was looking very strong tonight and his timing was on point as well, but just, just seems to absorb the shots and he was pushing forward. Yeah, this is what we trained for, to, for, the, uh, for the counter. So this was the, the plan. And uh, of course, we've seen Rogelio win on Glory Rivals 1 against Joe Johnson, that TKO first round. Uh, he was giving you his best shot this evening. Uh, you was very, very tough. Uh, did you enjoy your fight with Rogelio? Uh, yeah, I enjoy it. He said to me that he uh, won, uh, uh, hurt me before in the press conference, but it didn't work. His shots was not uh, hard enough, so. So he does, didn't succeed in hurting you this evening? Oh, no, his eye was bleeding, so I think I hurt him in, in, in place of my toch. <laughs> okay, and did you enjoy the fight? You enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Okay, well, uh, congratulations on your first win on Glory Rivals, and we look forward to seeing you soon, and nice to see you, Brian, again. Congratulations. Thank you, Ouse.